Uh, just based on what rates are doing alone, obviously, you have a set of things that are pressuring financials. And I think it is a time when, you know, there's just some messiness to the to this rotation or if it's not a rotation, it's just the market in general compressing valuations uh, after they, you know, overshot in a lot of ways late last year. Uh, so it's not as if it's always going to be a perfect handoff. And that's clearly the case today. The S&P, uh, it has been, you know, pretty oppressive in terms of the number of stocks down and the volumes, but it's not been really a bolt for the exits. And I don't again, I don't know if that's a positive or not. You're not getting some kind of a, a big uh, kind of flush uh, of emotion on the downside here. It just seems like it's bumping along the bottom end of this range. We've had a couple of little rallies starting exactly where traders were looking at certain levels of the S&P. We're at another one right now. Are we getting close to, to a buying opportunity, Anastasia? Well, I think we are. It's hard to call the exact bottom, but I would tell you there's a few things that I would be watching here. The trouble with the market right now is that the, as long as the upside in rate continues, there's kind of nothing to stop this. But at the same time, history does suggest that that does not continue in perpetuity. And at some point, we get to some sort of priced in levels and fair value levels on rates that should mean the pause in risk off sentiment. So kind of a few things that I'm watching here. First of all is what did we price in for the Fed to do? And we've actually priced in more already what the Fed is telling us they're going to do, at least in the last uh, set of projections. And even if they say we're going to do four rate hikes this year and another three rate hikes next year, I think that is lar largely already priced in in the Fed fund futures curve. You also look at the 10-year Treasury. When we look at the fair value models for 10-year Treasury, they're somewhere in the 1.8 to 1.9% range. And we are there today. We're right in that range on the 10-year Treasury. So we're starting to price in more and more of that. And then the third point I would come to is valuations. You know, no, we're not significantly lower on the S&P 500, but it's the high-flying tech shares that needed to correct. And when I look at price to sales ratio for some of those really high flying, high multiple tech shares, they already see those multiples come in in some cases 50% or so. So I do think that what's starting to emerge is a better, uh, better level of what's priced in. But again, we need mm -hmm. to have a positive catalyst emerge here. And so far, the, the Fed has been hawkish. And it's led the market extrapolate even maybe more hawkishness. And until they change that, I think we could see some volatility here.